As members of a school community which strives to make an environment whereby all students can flourish, we recognise there can be certain limitations in doing so. One of which being a race, a vital element of an individual's identity, and more specifically, racism, a topic that has rightfully been at the forefront of people's minds in light of recent events. The recent tragedy that was George Floyd's murder was an unjust act rooted in bitter prejudice, not to mention the similar deaths of Alton Sterling, Stephen Lawrence, Sandra Bland and many more. There is no moral way to justify why black individuals would be treated as problems rather than as people. And we are here to state that we unapologetically stand in solidarity with the black community all around the world. Whether racism is obvious or subtle, ignorance to such matters is a huge flaw within our society. Casual racism is rife in schools, mainly through sarcastic comments, and we aspire to put an end to this. We also need to educate students that systemic racism is alive and kicking. In order to make progress, we must actively defend the rights of those who are affected by institutionalised racism, infringement of human rights and prejudice of our fellow Black, Asian, Hispanic and other minority ethnicity peers. At Invictor Grammar School, discrimination against race of any kind will never be tolerated, hence why we are looking forward to taking the necessary steps in being an actively anti-racist school. We hope that you can join us in agreement that no student nor staff should ever feel unfairly targeted due to their ethnicity. And in order for us to achieve this, we must open new pathways for discussions regarding race. Discussions have been avoided for years due to their uncomfortable nature. However, by avoiding these discussions, we may create an even bigger problem. Regardless of age, we hope that every student can have the willingness to participate and open up in future discussions. Communication with each other gives us opportunities to learn about how certain labels and comments are deemed inappropriate. Justice won't be served by a hashtag. The lyrics that Joey rapped in 2017. Three years on and his point still stands. We want to thank all students, staff and parents who have helped to raise awareness for hashtag Black Lives Matter. But we want to make sure that it is not just a trend. This is a message for change. Change for our lives and future generations. We hope to empower you all too, as individuals, to act to defend those targeted. Not just when such stories are trending in the media, but by also carrying the integrity for the belief of racial equality throughout life. There are numerous ways that you can take action. One of which being donating to trusted organisations that are having a direct impact in advocating for justice regarding racial discrimination. Some of which include Show Racism the Red Card. They are the UK's leading anti-racism charity that uses workshops, training sessions and events to educate and combat racism. Secondly, the Movement for Black Lives is a global initiative which aims to change political conditions negatively impacting black communities. Reclaim the Block is an organisation that works to provide the Minneapolis community with the resources needed to thrive. The Coalition of Racial Equality and Rights is a Scottish organisation whose policy highlights evidence of the racial inequalities faced by minority people. These are just a few of many incredible organisations that you can donate to, but when choosing, ensure that you believe in their values and aims. Knowledge is power. And as Nelson Mandela once said, Education is the most powerful tool you can use to change the world. With this in mind, we champion those who will read, watch films and do more research into the topic of prejudice in order to gain more insight on how such matters affect our society, further empowering you to take action against discrimination. Some books that have been highly recommended include Why I'm No Longer Talking to White People About Race by Rennie Lodge, How to Be Anti-Racist, and it's not about the burqa. 
Films and shows that you can watch include 13th, When They See Us and Who Killed Malcolm X. However, when watching films, please adhere to the age restrictions for your own welfare. Other ways to make your impact can be through writing to MPs and signing petitions. Remember that peaceful action is the most effective way to make change. All of the suggestions mentioned above are powerful within themselves. So regardless of how small or big they may seem, just know that you are making an important impact by educating yourself. And for helping in the fight for racial equality. Please do not turn a blind eye to any form of racial discrimination. Because remaining neutral only contributes to the problem. If there is anything at all that you would like to discuss, whether that be questions or concerns regarding racism, then please do not hesitate to contact members of the senior prefect team or your heads of years, and we will be more than happy to listen as well as offer you our support. We believe that the more we can learn from each other, the better the relationships we will have with our peers. And the greater our relationships are with one another, the stronger our school community will be. And within that strength comes power for change. And in the precious words of Margaret J. Wheatley, there is no power for change greater than a community discovering what it cares about the most. As members of the school body, we care to ensure that all individuals within our school community feel accepted, represented and respected. We, we need to make change. Black lives